Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm going to do an unboxing for a package that I received from Patty Lane at Sacred Mementos. I'm really excited about what's in here. Um, she had a huge haul and went and picked it up and she is uh, selling ephemera and ledgers and things like that from that haul and this was a two pound package of a folder full of paperwork um, related to this train company so I don't know what's in here it's a mystery so I'm super excited and I will say um, I hope that it's not bananas, but if it is, I have lots of journaling ideas. <laughs> so there's that. So let's see what it looks like. And she did say it was grungy, so I stretched out some white um, kitchen paper. This is already cool. It says file 130 or file 136, 1919 to 1945. Let's get in here. It is a lot of paper. I want to keep that tie. So maybe I will come up here. Nice. Let's see. It's going to be the best way. My camera's up as high as it'll go. So, these are cool. Gulf Mobile and Ohio Railroad Company, Tennessee Division. New Albany, Mississippi, June 14th, 1945. General instructions. Paper's very thin. Look, there's some stamping here. This looks handwritten. Yes, this is handwritten here. These look like carbon copies. General instructions to trainmen, engineer, and all. Hmm. Can't read that one. It's like it was overtyped. This is discussing hand signals. That's really cool. I'll probably do a couple of video got videos on this stuff, guys. As I find stuff. This is talking about um, joining, making plans to join another facility. That's pretty cool. Oh, I wanted some of this stuff. So all throughout the stuff that she has, there's pins. These are pinned together. I'm going to try to... I got it. It's actually just a pin almost like a sewing pin with a little head on it a little flat head so these were pinned together and there are some of the coolest brads i hope i got a brad 
I just want one. <laughs> there was a train delayed. This is about automatic blocking signals and train stop systems. This um, grouping here is all about the same uh, issue that they were having. They were trying to negotiate and solve These are just cool. Let's see what else is there. I would imagine the letters are interesting. A lot of these say in referring to your letter, referring to your letter. What is this written in red? Interlocker. All trains reduce speed to 20 miles per hour while moving between home signal interlocking crossings, AGS and at Tuscaloosa and at Frisco at Columbus. It's a bulletin that went out. Oh, this is different paper. Ooh, this is nice. It's a bulletin that went out. Oh, check this out handwritten like we would use a sticky note these days except not sticky it's just a little handwritten and it's dated 1944 so all of this section had to do with this bulletin that went out about speed restrictions on um, look Rusty paper clip, old rusty staples. Restrictions, interlocker. Let's see, there's a lot of this type. This type of stuff. This looks different. It's a list of numbers. It's pinned together too. <clears throat> Trains movement for the months, by the months for the years 1942 and 43, which makes a total of 4,587 trains. Train movements by Matheston, Mississippi, at which point we are considering installation of an automatic interlocking plant. And then they requested information from another source. Some notepad sheets. These are all written on by hand. This is February 1943, March. 1943 they're writing down the numbers of trains and doing the addition so that they can decide I guess if it's worth having an interlocking facility there that's what all this is about logistics Frisco has repaired Columbus plant. Repairs that they made. Maintenance. Oh, here's a copy of a letter. I have the following letter.
talks about why a train was delayed. And in this letter, this gentleman proceeds to tell them who they believe is responsible for making those repairs, for paying for that to be repaired. And it was pretty point blank for those days. And then here's the actual letter. Oh, how cool is that? In the meantime, we're going to do an efficiency test and we're going to send a guy out. And the letter back says, well, that's fine. We'll have a representative there uh, also if you give us notice. That might have gotten a little testy. And then, yeah, that letter. Ooh, which should have been addressed to you. Yeah, I think that got a little testy. Here's another letter. Same thing. We made efficiency tests. Your representatives were not present. will advise your representatives in advance of these tests are made and will appreciate your joining in. The ICC frequently criticizes railroads when they fail to make these tests and should there be an accident, feel that it would avoid considerable criticism if tests are made regularly. Further, no doubt the tests will prove, will prevent such accidents. Hmm. I need to put these in order of date just to read the story, you know? The drama, the drama. This is um, more of the same situation. says personal expenses statement of expense in connection with the maintaining and operating interlocking plant at Columbus Mississippi month of November 1940 labor $7.53 material 10 channel pins at point zero zero five three cents four galvanized band wires at point zero five one five cents personal expenses a dollar total eight eight dollars and 78 cents that's for an entire month plus supplies labor and personal expenses that's insane okay let me check my camera and make sure we're still we are still recording but i'm gonna have to wrap it up pretty soon and just do another video guys i will dive deep into things like this i absolutely love the history of things um the fact that this is real history and it's all on all these different amazing kinds of paper that i can't even explain to you but patty can you can go and watch her videos um and she walks through lots of these papers and explains what they are or what she thinks and if she doesn't know what they are she'll tell you she doesn't know what they are this is different. I, I caught a piece of note sheet. There's two of these in here. Okay, here's the back. 
freight traffic department. This says... Rules, standards, and instructions for installation, inspection, maintenance, and repair of block signals, interlocking, and other similar appliances intended to promote safety of railroad operation. Effective January 1st, 1938. It almost looks typed. This paper is amazing. Oh, and here is, okay, so that's a carbon copy. And this is stamped. This is the actual rules manual. Let's see if they're the same. I think they're the same. I'll have to go through them and match the pages up and see if they are. That would be really cool because then I could keep one and I could use one. That would be amazing. Thank you, Patty. Really, really, really happy today. Thanks for watching, y'all.